you'd be surprised by what it takes to make a Wolverine hand statue. So we already printed our veiny hand model, so now it's time to paint it. And it's very important you wear protection. And while the paint is drying, I'm going to be using my rotary tool to grind on these Wolverine claws. So what's really cool to me is these claws are 3D printed with metal. I actually had them made by PCB Way. If you'd like to do this project yourself, you can have them print this entire model out of metal and pretend it's adamantium. Well, that's what I'm doing at least. After I finished with the claws, I went back to the hand model. Now it's time to start painting it. For this, I'm using acrylic based paints and that's because it sticks to the primer very well. It also dries fast so you can layer up the paint pretty quickly. Then I switch to a darker acrylic paint when I'm done with my base layer. That's so I can darken up the crevices on the parts of the model that I want. This is a technique called black washing. So you essentially cover the entire model with that watered down dark paint and then you wipe it away with a paper towel so it leaves it in those crevices. Personally, I think it looks more like a Deadpool hand, but that's fine. For the last part of this project, we're using red acrylic paint and we're gonna water it down so it drips like blood because his claws essentially cut through his hands. Now I may have went a bit overboard, but I'm really liking how this effect is turning out. So if you do order parts from this, download the file from Maker World, go to PCB Way, and then select 3D printing. From there, you'll upload your model, pick your material, and then you can submit your order. And the final results, Wolverine's hand. A lot went into this project, so thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think and check out PCB Way.